Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these animations in PowerPoint. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week. Now for this tutorial I created this file that you can download from the link in the description box of this video. And basically it's just an animation gallery where you'll be able to copy the effects from the objects and apply them to your own content. And at the end of the video, I will tell you how to enter the giveaway so you can download this template for free. So you just have to open both files. You have to open the animation gallery and the um, presentation that you're working on. And then just click on the object with the animation that you want. Click on the animation painter and apply it to an object in your presentation. This could be uh, text, this could be an image, this could be a table, this could be a chart. It literally um, works on every single thing. And if you have the animation pane open to the right, you'll see that the animations are starting to build up. And if you double click the animation painter, you will lock the tool. So then you can apply it to multiple objects in your layouts. And now if we play the animation, we'll see that everything happens at exactly at the same time. So we need to modify that to make it smoother. And the way to do that is adding delays to the animation. With the object selected, you just have to drag a little bit the element here from the animation pane and then click on the object under that element, right click and start with previews because this is a combined animation. You can also right click on the element from the animation pane, go to effect options and under timing here you have a delay option so you can just add like for example dot four seconds. Remember to always right click, start with previews, the element under that one that you just modified and this is like a progressive effect, right? So um, the first element will show up at the at point two, then the second at point four, then the, the third at point six, and so on and so forth to get um, to get like this cascade effect. And if you don't have access to the animation gallery, you can create each animation manually. But because this is an co a combined animation, we're gonna click on the object first. Then go to animations, click on fade, then right click, start with previous and then add animation and we're going to add a line. The default direction of the line is to go uh, down. So first right click, start with previous and then let's modify the direction of the path. So this red dot here is the ending position of your object. So we're just going to drag it up and the green circle here will be the starting point. So for example, here the animation would go backwards. So we need to modify that. Um, so the red dot will uh, drag it to the right and for the green dot, we'll just leave it as it is for now. But then you'll notice that the word will actually switch positions. And to fix that, we'll obviously need to play a little bit more with the dots here. So I'm just going to drag the green dot a little bit more to the left and the red dot a little bit to the, to the left as well to match my original position. And this is looking much better. If you right click on the animation of the path and go to effect options here, you can smooth the end. So now it's a little bit smoother, the animation, and it just looks more professional overall. Now making this effect individually would take us forever. So that's the reason why I'm using the animation gallery that I created. So for the rest of the elements, I'm just going to copy different animations. So uh, for these numbers right here, for which is a table, I'm going to select the, the starting point from the left. And then maybe for the callout, I'm going to select the diagonal animation. And again, I'm going to delay a little bit the animation of each element so we can get the cascade effect. 
so yeah this is looking very very fun and now for this one I want to do something wrong with this image of this pretzel here so first I'm gonna select the rotation effect so I'm gonna pick this one the 45 degrees clockwise effect again with the animation painter I'm just gonna apply it and it's looking a little while now but I'm gonna right click on the effect from the animation pane effect options and here I'm gonna change the degrees to 15 so it's a little bit more subtle and yeah I think this is looking way better now I'm gonna repeat the process with the rest of the elements from this layout so I'll just copy the animation of the animation gallery with the animation painter and apply it to the rest of the elements and now the animation pane is different in PowerPoint for Mac unfortunately you don't get like this timeline um, as you have it here now you'll notice if you have PowerPoint for Mac you'll notice that you don't have the timeline from the animation pane um, this can be a little bit annoying um, and unfortunately that's just the software is is the way that Microsoft did it for PowerPoint for Mac so so yeah it's uh I'm gonna try to do another video um, with the differences between PowerPoint for Mac and PowerPoint for Windows because it's it's a little bit different now for the fourth layout I'm gonna repeat the exact same process go to the animation gallery and pick uh, an effect copy the animation painter and just apply it and then delay the animations and honestly this is so easy and quick uh, with the animation gallery and honestly you're gonna use it so much for every single presentation that you do it's a life changer if you do presentations often and now I will give away the animation gallery to 10 people that comment on this video you have to be subscribed to the channel and I will select 10 people randomly on the 1st of February so hurry up and enter the giveaway now the last thing to do is just to select all the slides go to transitions and click on fade and that's pretty much how I achieve these animations in PowerPoint please remember to subscribe to enter the giveaway and thank you so much for your support and I will see you in my next video.